Hello everyone. Today, for lunch, I bought myself another container, a jackfruit company. And this one is Teriyaki Jackfruit, a sweet and savory blend of soy, sesame, and ginger. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna lay this jackfruit over a bed of vegetables. So let's get started. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. All right, so in this bowl, I'm gonna be putting in zucchini and yellow squash spirals. And this is a absolutely delicious, uh, I purchased this for $10 at Sam's Club. This is a worthy uh, product to get. Let me see if you can see the entire title here. And it, it costs about $10. And then I'm going to add, this is a vegan product that has a combination of squash, uh, cauliflower, cranberries. I'm going to use up the rest of this bag, like this. And then we're going to add, this is just basically mixed vegetables, carrots, corn, green beans, and peas. Small little, just like a topping, kind of like flatten it out. Then we're going to open up our teriyaki jackfruit and we're going to lay, place it on the very top and cook it all together. And since this is not frozen and this is frozen, we're going to go to the microwave and then we're going to put our, our frozen vegetables. We're going to cook them for about three minutes. That won't cook them entirely, that'll just kind of slightly defrost them. Then we can put the jackfruit on top, cook it for another minute and then the food will be ready to eat. Now what I do is I take it out just before it's completely defrosted and I put these very frozen little round chunks of, of uh, squash to the top. So when I get my iodine, because I don't like to use too much salt, I like to use alapeni sea snacks and they look like this. What we're going to do, these are going to disappear and we're just going to put a couple on the top and as they disappear, and this will just give me anything that I might need. And these are absolutely no calories. Um, half of this package is 15 calories, nothing to worry about. I'm gonna stick it back into the microwave. Once you remove your vegetables from the, from the microwave and make sure they're good and hot all the way through, and I can tell you these are, then open up your jackfruit container. Because there's no seal on this, you're just going to have to open it up from the top. Okay. And from here, take a different spoon and layer the jackfruit on the top. And sometimes what I do is I cut it into smaller pieces. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you this in a minute. Now make sure your hands are clean. And then grab your jackfruit and use a pair of scissors or you could use your, your knife on a cutting board. It's just easier if there's scissors there. And cut these, this jackfruit into smaller pieces. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay it back on the top and you're just going to warm it up for one more minute. It doesn't take long. That's why if you're mixing it like for me, like with other vegetables, you want to make sure you have your jackfruit on the top. And this is the teriyaki jackfruit, so it tastes very good. All the rest of this week I'll be using it exactly this way. Alright, so then, and go back to your microwave, over here. Stick it back in for one minute. Now, the jackfruit can be cooked for one to two minutes. So we're gonna put one minute because the vegetables are already quite hot. So I don't think we're gonna need very much time to be able to cook it. We're not cooking it. What we're really doing is we're warming up the jackfruit. In this case, the teriyaki jackfruit. But this is a quick method to be able to have a quick dinner, say you're getting home, 
These pouches are about $5 and I bought these at Stater Brothers and most health food stores or old food stores have them in, on hand. Plus I've already found out too that you can buy these online, for example Amazon and some other places too that carry them. Okay, so we'll see you in a few minutes and then we'll show you what it looks like. Hard to believe that was a minute, huh? But that was. What we're going to do next is we're going to show you what it looks like. So there it is right there. And what I like to do is I like to mix the jackfruit into with all the vegetables. Now we're just going to taste a little bit of a jackfruit. Okay, the bowl is a little hot. So I'm going to put it on this pad here. And it has that, that teriyaki taste that you're looking for. It's quite good. And I think it's going to be a nice addition to my lunch. And I'll be using this throughout the week. Just exactly in this fashion. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next product review videos. Have yourself a good day. Bye-bye now. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.